The City Council has made some decisions on new revenue tools and will be asking the province for permission to implement a municipal sales tax. So councillors have voted to remove the $5 an hour cap for on-street parking. The city will also bring in graduated increases for the land transfer tax on homes worth $3 million or more. For more on this, we are joined live by Mayor Olivia Chow. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, uh, Mayor Chow. Obviously, this is a tough time for uh, the city's finances, but also for the average Torontonian. Uh, the city is looking at a lot of these revenue tools that are going to make things uh, less affordable for Torontonians. I was wondering if you can talk about how are these conversations going down at, at City Hall and do you think that we're actually you're going to be successful in implementing a municipal uh, increase to the municipal sales tax? Mm -hmm. Actually, we want to make life more affordable for our local residents. And uh, whether it's libraries or public transit, uh, the roads, all of it uh, really contribute to a good quality of life. And what we did yesterday really have no impact on 98% of the people that buy new homes. Now, remember, most people can't even afford to buy a new home. Those that can, if they're buying a luxury homes, we're going to charge them a bit more because they can afford it. The other things we are actually going to be doing is those speculators that are leaving apartment buildings and houses empty in the middle of a housing crisis will have to pay a bit more called vacancy tax because it's a... Uh, it's only fair because they, they have the money also. So we want to be as equitable, as fair as possible so that we can, as a city, deliver services, especially build affordable housing so that the cost of living won't be so high. Uh, we want to protect tenants. We want to make sure that our services are delivered in a way that is not so expensive like community centers programs, kids programs, swimming programs, all of that. Keep the library free. Um, yeah, so those are the things that we want to do. But as you just talked about, TIFF is coming to town. It's exciting. But guess what? None of that generate, uh, none of the revenue that are going to be generated of all these tours coming to town, all of the money going to be spent here in Toronto, we won't see any of it because we only have property taxes. So we're saying to other levels of government, please share what you have. They, they do have some extra dollars, right? Uh, and the provincial government is sitting on a, what, $22 billion surplus. We're saying you don't have to tax more. Just mm -hmm. share what you're already taxing. Give us maybe one cent of it. We know that the city has been Which pushing. Which should be about a billion dollars. Yeah, well, we know that the mm -hmm. city has been pushing for, for more funds, especially to deal with uh, the situation in our shelter system uh, when it comes to the amount of refugees that are, are, are in those systems. And why do you think the federal government is being hesitant uh, to pony up some money, considering the fact that immigration is a, a, a feder falls on the federal jurisdiction? What's, what's happening here? Why is it so difficult for the federal government to acknowledge that you know, the city needs some more money? You just asked a multi-million dollar question. I wish I can answer you. I don't know. We have 10,000 people living in shelters right now. Half of them are refugees. And you, know, you can't call a shelter a home. And I think people deserve better. And because the housing cost is so high, they're stuck in shelters. And because it's full, then where are they going to go? And every night, 200 people plus are being turned away. And we desperately need the federal government to step up. Red Cross, for example, are saying, we're ready. We are ready to set up a reception center. Mm -hmm. But it costs a million dollars. We don't have the money to give to Red Cross. And it really should be the federal government. So I wish I can answer your question, but I can't. You need to ask the prime minister or local MPs that question. We will when we get the opportunity. Mayor Chow, you touched upon an important uh, point about the fact that so many 
you know, Torontonians can't even afford a home, yet, you know, the focus on some of these new revenue tools is to increase the land transfer tax for homes over $3 million. I'm curious, why was council so quick to shoot down uh, Councillor Brad Bradford's uh, idea of increasing the, the tax rebate for first-time home buyers from 400000 to 750000 and especially considering the reality is you can't buy a home for anywhere between four hundred to seventeen hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the city of Toronto other than maybe a, you know a small shoebox in the sky yeah you're right uh, so the, the the land transfer tax we talked about only impact what we did yesterday only impact on two percent mm -hmm. two out of a hundred people buying new homes like I don't think people like you and I I, I don't know about you, I, you know. Um, Definitely not me. Most people, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. 98% of the people buying new homes are not going to have any impact. Uh, Councillor Bradford, I would love to do what he wants to do. The problem is this. If we don't do, if we, if we actually follow through on what he suggests, guess how much money is going to cost the city of Toronto? $98 million. Where are we going to find $98 million when we're already a billion dollar in deficit? We're in a budget hole. We need to find more money, not to go and spend more money or get bring in less money. Uh, so wish we can do what's the, some of those suggestions are great, but we can't. We just don't have the revenue tools, which comes back to the provincial government having a big surplus. How about sharing part of the tax you already collected so that we don't even have to do the administrative cost of doing a sales tax? We'd rather not do it, but we're just a bit desperate because we're quite broke. I can appreciate that there's uh, many difficult decisions ahead at City Hall. Uh, Mayor Olivia Chow, we appreciate your time as always. Thanks for joining us.